Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm so tired. It's only Wednesday and I'm so tired. I went to bed way too late last night and I didn't mean to, but when I'm going into the office, it's just really hard to, when I go into the office and I go to my workout class, cause my, my work's office is close to my workout studio, but my client's is not. And so when I go to my client's office, and then my workout like studio it's really inconvenient so i'm not gonna do that today i'm doing my outdoor workout right now and then i'm gonna come home and do my second workout just at my apartment gym because i just don't have time i do think i get a better workout at my like workout studio i did like hated pilates yesterday and it was such a good workout and i can do pilates at home but it's honestly not the same but i can still get a good workout at my gym i'm just saying i feel like it's a little bit better when i go to the other one. Oh, okay let me grab a hair tie oh here's my deodorant let me put on my deodorant Yesterday I brought my water on my outdoor workout, but I think I'm going to run today, so I'm not going to bring it. Which is a little unfortunate because yesterday I brought my water on my outdoor workout and I drank a whole, my whole first 30 ounces during my walk. But I kind of want to run today. Not the whole time, but like a mile. Okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Put my hair up and then we gotta go because we gotta get a move on. I can hear my little chirpy bird. Oh my god, okay. I love this alarm clock. I have this. I can link it. I got it from Amazon. It's the Philips one. It's similar to the Hatch alarm clock. It's just a different brand. I got it in like 2020 or 2021. And... I have the bird chirping sound. I'm so over it. I need to change it because the birds just like piss me off now. So <laughs> I need to change it. Also, I just took a little like mirror clip like of me in my mirror and it's for TikTok. If you don't know, if you maybe don't want to watch like YouTube videos every day, I am posting on TikTok every day for 75 hard. So you can go follow me on TikTok. I used to like not really like posting on TikTok that like making like cuter videos like I just felt like so much work but lately I really like it so I'm really trying to pop off on TikTok but okay it's 622 I need to go because I need to leave here by 730 which means I gotta go like outside um okay yeah I'm gonna start walking for like 15 minutes listen to gals on the go and then probably run a mile and then walk Me trying to film a clip, it's like literally so dark, you can't even see me, but yeah, I think walking for a little bit, and then I'm kind of like stretching, I was like doing arm circles and stuff because I'm a little bit sore, so I think I'm just gonna like do a little kind of like, oh my gosh, what did they call that? I'm trying to think in like gym, where you, it's a certain kind of stretching, dynamic, dynamic stretch, you literally can't even see me. It's 7.26. I was trying to leave by 7.30 because it takes me like 30 minutes to get there. I want to get there by 8. I don't have to get there right at 8, but like I like to get there between 8 and 8.30, closer to the 8. We're doing good. I My run was kind of slow today. It was like 10 minutes. The average pace was 10 minutes and 2 seconds, but also like that was me running after being awake for like 10 minutes, and I don't know the last time I've done that slash like... It's been years, so I'm not mad about it. It's just an observation. I thought I would show you really quick what I pack for lunch because doing 75 hard while working a nine to five and going into the office is a lot more difficult. Like yesterday was harder than the last two days because the two days before I wasn't working. And then 
like this morning I was so tired but okay this doesn't look that good but I made two eggs the other day and so I'm just gonna heat those up in the microwave and eat them for breakfast and then snacks I bring to work I love the chomps turkey jerky sticks you can get them at Trader Joe's is the place that I normally get them, but this flavor is the pepperoni turkey jerky. I order it on Amazon. I can link it below. I have a rice cake. I normally have like a rice cake or like a skinny pop or some kind of little snack. I have some little vitamin, whoa, it looks like so many, but it's because my collagen tells me to take six, and I'm like, that's a lot. I don't take vitamins every single day. Sometimes I forget, but today we remembered this is the Trader Joe's pre-cooked lemon pepper chicken and then some green beans with butter on them that is my lunch and then i have a ginger shot i might take in the car i have a celsius for this afternoon i know i'm gonna need it and then oh yeah i'm a club sport champion this is what we got when we won our kickball league i put it's like a small coffee in here with Chobani sweet cream creamer. I literally, everything I had, I put in a Trader Joe's bag. This is still the holiday bags, but like I literally mixed the coffee and cream the night before. I put it all in this bag. Well, besides, sorry, my fork fell. The turkey jerky stick and like the rice cake and vitamins I don't put in the fridge. But the rest of this, I literally, the night before, put in a bag and then put this bag in the fridge. And then that way, I mean, right now I just took it all out to show you, but typically then in the morning I can just go to the fridge, grab the bag and go. The eggs, I'll just, I mean, I would normally just eat them here, but I'm really trying to go. So I might just eat them in the car and I'll like add a little pepper on top. And then I'm going to try to drink. Oh, see, there's my 7.30 alarm, which just means that I want to start leaving around this time. This, I have literally just taken a couple sips. Let's chug right now. Let's do a 10, just 10 second chug. I'm gonna look at the timer on the camera, okay? Hey guys, if you're doing 75 hard, pick up your water bottle and let's do a 10 second chug. Okay, ready, go. <sighs> it spilled on me. Okay. I'm gonna try to drink this on the way to work and then at work I try to drink two of them and then I leave one for after work so but yesterday like I said I drank it on my walk so I didn't even yeah yesterday oh, sorry I don't know what's wrong with my brain I'm tired okay let's heat up these eggs typically for my job I work remote for my clients and then i go into my works office like two days a week but my works office is by my gym so it's like really convenient like yeah tonight i'm just working out at my apartment gym because it doesn't make sense for me to go to my gym after my client but also i'm only on my client for like a short amount of time so it doesn't make sense to like switch gyms just like for two months or something so anyways my point is that hopefully in the second half of this challenge i'll be working remote more often and then that'd be so easy like i would have been ready by like 7 15 or something because i finished my morning workout at like 7 something and then i would just need to rinse off in the shower and then i'd be good to go but like now i had to like put my outfit on, you know, whatever, pack my lunch, and now I have to drive 30 minutes to the client, so that's not bad. Like, when I lived in Seattle, I had to commute, like, it was closer to, like, 45 minutes, 50-ish minutes every day, and I had to, like, take the city bus, and it was a lot worse, so I know typically I don't really mind it that much, but I'm just saying like with doing 75 hard and commuting into the office, it's definitely harder. I think I left my camera in my backpack, which is inside, but I got a new iPhone recently. So this quality, I don't know, this is like front camera and it looks really good quality. So we'll see, but, and I had to adjust the settings. I like was taking clips on my phone before and it was like HDR and then it wouldn't work in iMovie. So hopefully this works, I think it should. But yeah, I am in my car right now. Sometimes I like to eat in my car cause I'm a weirdo, 
but I can show you what I have. I'll show you, but it's just chicken and green beans. Oh, I think I told you earlier what I was having for lunch when I showed you what I packed, but yeah, basically this is it. Just the lemon pepper chicken and then green beans. Since I had those eggs this morning, I'm like, I wasn't even hungry. Normally I have a snack before lunch, but it's 1230 and I didn't have a snack yet, so. I just air fried the green beans and then put a little bit of butter and a little bit of garlic and they're honestly good. I normally eat broccoli as like my go-to vegetable, but they were out of it when I went to Trader Joe's. So green beans is like runner up for me. Guys, I'm home. It's 7.30. I had to stop at FedEx to mail my dad a birthday present and then I have to go to my gym, so my like apartment gym, because I didn't do a workout class today because I couldn't with work. So I had to go to my, oh, well I have to, I haven't gone yet. But it's 7.30, so I'm hungry. So I made one of these, guys, I'm obsessed with these. They're the Kodiak Flapjack Power Cup Butter Milk and Maple. God, can I read? Why was that so hard? It's basically, it's like powder. You fill it up with like a fourth a cup of water, stir it up, stick it in the microwave. It's like a little, it's like a little pancake. And mm, there's probably kind of a lot of sugar in it, but I don't know. I feel like some of this crap, like I was telling my friend this because I was like drinking a Celsius and I was like, honestly, I feel like Celsius and sugar-free Red Bull are like probably the same. Like, I feel like it's just a marketing. Like, they're both, like, no calories, blah, blah, blah. And, like, Celsius just claims to be healthy. So, I feel like it's, like, associated with, like, you know, workout girlies and stuff. And I feel like the same way about that Kodiak cake stuff. I feel like, I feel like that's what um, people talk about sometimes. But I looked at that and I was like, 15 grams of sugar, that kind of sounds like a lot. But apparently it's, like protein whatever i don't even freaking know guys i'm just i just eat it because i saw someone post on instagram and i was like wait i want to get one and i got them and they're so convenient like i'll bring them to work sometimes i keep one in my backpack oh my that fork was hot oh this is the perfect consistency i will say sometimes the consistency gets messed up but it says for like the perfect consistency do a fourth a cup of water and since i'm home i like actually measured it and they weren't lying a fourth of a cup is perfect but like sometimes i put too much sometimes i i probably just put too much honestly my new obsession is cody ko's new youtube channel called cody trains he started it like september and Right now as I'm filming this he maybe has like 10 videos on there So if you want to catch up I would I would suggest starting from the first video I'm not all the way caught up, but I started from the first one and I love it because it's like fitness content, but like it's also funny like it's like Cody's personality and I'm obsessed with Cody So it's really good. So I think I'm gonna eat this. I think I'm gonna read my 10 pages because I feel like when I get home from the gym, I'm gonna wanna shower, and then once I shower, I'm gonna be so tired, and reading will just make me even more tired, and I have to do a couple things. So I think I'm gonna read before I go to the gym, cause I'm not tired, I have so much energy. If this is the first 75 hard vlog you're watching of mine, I'll show you really quick my book that I'm reading is The Defining Decade, and I really like it because the way it's written, it's like easy to read, even though it's a self-help book. Like I really, really like it. So I would recommend, and guys, you don't have to, it's a, it's, I know it says why your twenties matter and how to make the most of them. You can read it whenever guys. I am not in my early twenties and I still feel like it's super helpful. Like it's still helpful for like anyone i think i don't know i mean maybe not if you're old sorry no offense but if you're a grandpa maybe like move on but if you're like relatively young i'd say go for it and also it even says like your defining decade can be like different for different people like yes it could be like 20 to 29 but it could also be like 23 to 33 or it could be like 25 to 35 like it doesn't necessarily mean I'm gripping this book with like all of my strength, geez. 
but you know what I'm saying. Anyone can read it, and I like it. So I'm going to read. Let's see what my chapter is called. I'm in the love section, and this chapter is called 29 Conversations. 